Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about modeling and simulation of transformerless photovoltaic residential system using MATLAB Simulink. This example shows the operation of a typical transformerless photovoltaic residential system connected to the electrical utility grid. This is a Simulink model of transformerless photovoltaic PV residential system. Here this uh, Simulink model contains PV array, this is a trainer solar TSM 250PA. 05.08 it's a, it has 14 model string and one parallel parallel strings are there this the inputs are uh, irradiance and temperature as the inputs and um, one mppt based inverter controllers are there the pv array consists of one string of uh, 14 trainer solar uh, tsm 250 models connected in series here there are various scopes are available here there is a um, 75 kv a transformer and utility gridder uh, gridder used to model this symlink this is a model view of model overview of PV array. This PV array or model model view model overview. This plug parameter implements a PV array built of uh, string of PV models connected in parallel, or uh, each uh, strings consist of model connected in series. Here it allows modeling of variety of preset PV models available from NREL system advisor model as well as user defined uh, PV model also there. Here uh, drop down list uh, drop down list is available here. In this drop drop down list. We can select variety of preset PV models available from NREL uh, systems. Here, the we can also specify the uh, display IV, uh, IV and PV characteristics based on, um, I mean, for example, in our example, the PV array consists of one string of uh, 14 trainer solar uh, TSM 250 models connected in series <coughs> at 25 degrees Celsius. Here, 45, 25, 100 uh, there. At 25 degrees Celsius and with a solar irradiance of 1000, um, and the sink can produce 3500 3, 3, watts. So, here also two uh, small capacitors connected on the positive and negative terminals on the PV array here. This one, stray capacitance. Uh, PV array are used to model the parasitic capacitance between the PV models and the ground here. Similarly, the model overview for inverter control, this block. In the control system contains uh, five major simulink based subsystems. Here, this inverter control block uh, implements uh, the main component of the inverter controller PLL and measurements, maximum power point tracker system using PETAB and observe algorithm, and DC voltage regulator and current regulator and PWM modulator. Here, these are the parameters we need to set. The, here, uh, photovoltaic residential system that is a transformerless photovoltaic residential system as 3500 watts. Uh, VA and frequency set 60 hertz and primary voltages VRMS voltage is 240 and DC voltage is 400. In this my MPPT controller, the maximum power point controller is based on the PETAP and observed observe technique. This MPPT system automatically varies the VDC reference signal of the inverter VDC uh, regulator in order to obtain a DC voltage which will extract maximum power from the PV string here. So that uh, a VDC controller block also there. In this VDC controller block, it, it, it is used to determine the required ID that is uh, active current reference for the current regulator. The next one, the current regulator, the based on the current references ID and IQ, it is a reactive current and uh, regulator uh, that uh, required uh, reference voltages for the inverter. In our example, IQ reference is set to 0. Next one, the PLL and the measurements required for and this block is required for synchronization and voltage current measurements. The finally, uh, PWM uh, generator. The PWM generator use the uh, BWPM method. Use the BWPM BWM bipolar modulation method used to generate firing signal to the IGBTs. In our example, PWM carrier frequency is set uh, set to 3,780 hertz. The next one, the load and utility grid. In this part, load and utility grid. Here, this grid is modeled uh, using a typical pole mounted transformer and an ideal AC source of 14.4 uh, kilovolt RMS value. The transformer 240, uh, 240 volt uh, secondary winding is a center tap, and the central neutral wire is grounded via a small resistance RG. The residential load that is a 10k 10 kilowatts 4k VA. Uh, at 240 of VRMS is equally distributed between the two hot to 120 uh, volt terminals. Let us see at the, at the time of uh, simulation. You can see the next one 
the simulation block by, by using the simulation block the we can run the simulation and observe the resulting signals on the various scopes uh, here the initial input radiance to the uh, pvra model is 250 watts uh, and the operating temperature at 25 degrees celsius when steady state is reached at around the, the time period at 0 0.25 second we get the pv voltage of 424.5 volt and the power extracted from the array is 856 watts the, let us see the uh, similar observation during the simulation um, uh, session at tip hard time 0 0.4 second sir sun irradiance is rapidly ramp up from 250 watts to 750 watts due to our uh, mppt operation the control system increases pd references to 434 here instead of 424 uh, 424 here 434.2 volt in order to extract maximum power from the pv string of 2624 watts these values correspond well to expected values to confirm that you can use the plot button of the pv array button menu to plot iv and v pv characteristic pv string based on the manufacturing specification this this then to confirm that here here you need to click plot uh, plot option you will get the display of current versus voltage and power versus voltage characteristic of the uh, desired selected model now let us see uh, the simulation this is our uh, simulation uh, simulating diagram here uh, these are the two inputs irradiance and uh, temperatures this is a pv array, pv array in this pv array block it is available uh, in uh, electrical library otherwise you can check with this library link go to library link in this uh, simulating uh, block i will simulating model i will show i will uh, provide in my youtube channel description box kindly download it for uh, educational purpose here this pv array just you drag and drop into your workspace we can model this uh, transformerless grid data, grid connected pv array residential system okay now let us see the uh, pv array specifications now uh, by default i am choosing the uh, uh, Trina Solar TSM 250 uh, module. Otherwise, you can uh, you can build your own model by using this drop down list. There are so many uh, options are available, so many uh, PV array models are available. Just you can change, you can do this one. Okay, here in this model, uh, series connected model for 14 parallel things and uh, you can input input one is uh, radiance, sunny radiance, and input two is a cell temperature. Here uh, in this method, uh, uh, if you select this uh, default model, it automatically uh, taking this maximum power is 249.86 watts and cell per manual value is 60, open circuit voltage is 37.6. Based on that, it automatically selects. Here also, uh, this plot, uh, what we mentioned in uh, last uh, simulation section, here you, you need to check, you need to click the three more options. Among the three, three more options, you can set array 1000 uh, um, watts and specify the temperature here here I am choosing the cell temperature as 45 25 200 100 now if, if you click this option plot option you will get this array type of uh, this train at solar TSM model okay otherwise if, if I am if I am choosing another model that is a 10 uh, green technology yes and green technology based on that it will automatically yes you can see this array type okay, so that um, uh, in this manner you can set the different very uh, different temperature different uh, temperature are different inputs are the sun irradiance and uh, cell temperature you can check with this plot called current versus voltage and power versus voltage plots okay, now uh, let us see the inverter controller next uh, control is an inverter controller in this inverter controller also as the main components of uh, inverter controller as PLL measurement for first one PLL measurement maximum power um, power point tracker system using PO, P and O algorithm DC voltage regulator and current regulator and PWA modulator here you can set the nominal values of uh, the parameters inverter control parameters power we set with 3500 watts if you need you can change the values change the power change the power of this uh, model inverter controller model okay the next one frequency 60 primary voltage and dc voltage and mppt controller what about the increment level output increment and the output initial value and the output limits you can set and in this similarly for current regulator and pwm modulator 
here in this example we are using the PWM method called bipolar method otherwise you can for analysis purpose you can use unipolar method similarly the utility grid in this utility grid electrical out electrical grid uh, connected PV array this load is uh, set as the 75 kV a transformer that is a 120 volt and 14.4 kilo volt here this one now let us see the simulation here these are all the simulation uh, blocks are additional blocks also there in this PV array uh, system here uh, irradiance value irradiance and uh, VDC and PDC mean value you can see based on some uh, to, uh, based on the tools we can uh, see the uh, some uh, uh, interactive uh, measurements called the cursor measurement this, by using the cursor measurement we can check each and every uh, signal uh, signal parameters like by level measurements and uh, also you, you need to find out uh, for peak peak finder means you can see the peak finder value here uh, same based based on the things each and every um, uh, plot you can see the uh, va values called this peak finder value and all this based on the um, interactive uh, plot commands you can you uh, can verify you can analyze the plots similarly here also some um, additional uh, scopes also there based on the traditional scope you can see <coughs> this pv <coughs> you can see the 400 or 450 the next one the vdc reference and this one vsc control control plot vsc control plot see control plot you can see the next one mo modulation index and your reference and this were uh, VI grid VI grid value this is of uh, voltage and current and this were the uh, delicate current I hope uh, you enjoy this video uh, for uh, modeling and uh, simulation of uh, single phase 240 uh, VRMS and 3500 watts transformerless grid connected PV array. Thanks for watching. Thank you.